Okay guys, Sustainable Stace here. We're talking about three different materials to make your bed. So let's just look at this, starting with the budget product. Now this product in a lot of places is used to build concrete forms. When they're building concrete forms, this will be put up, it'll hold the concrete in place, and then it'll get stripped away. You can actually find it recycled or reclaimed at building sites at times for free. It's called Resawn in my area. This is called a one inch by eight inch. So it's a one by eight piece of Resawn. This is a 10 footer and when we cut it in half, it's gonna make the two five foot ends of the bed. And then I've got two more pieces for the sides of the bed and these are one by eight and they're 12 footers. So these are each gonna be a side. So side, side, end, end. So if it's five feet and five feet and 12 feet and 12 feet and you add that all up, it's gonna be 34 feet to go around the perimeter of the bed. And if you take, say, this is about a one and a half inch wood screw. So I'm just gonna come in close to you. If you have a drill like that, and you have a one and a half inch wood screw, and you basically lay out a rectangle of all these pieces on edge and you screw them together, you've got a rectangle box and you've just made a bed. Super simple. You could, if you wanna go a little more hardcore, it's not like anyone's gonna pick it up and carry it away once it's filled with soil, but you could, if you wanna go hardcore, get round or rectangular stakes, and you could take a big sledgehammer because you feel tough and beefy, and you could pound those in in the corners of the rectangular box, and then screw through the upright pieces of wood into the corners to kind of stake it in place. So that could be an option as well. I'd suggest generally you have to decide between treated or untreated wood, that's your call. If you don't have your lumber cut to size, yes, you'll need a skill saw to cut it to size. And a lot of lumber yards, well, they'll sell you a piece and then they'll charge you a, a modest fee to just cut it. So that if you don't have a skill saw and you want to take a 10 footer into two fives, just get them to cut it for you. So that's all you'd need to build that. Now remember, 34 feet around the bed, the total cost for these three pieces of wood was under $30. Now it's only gonna give you a seven and a half inch high, because eight inch wood is actually seven and a half because it's gone through a planer, but you'll have a seven and a half inch high raised bed. And that's gonna cost you less than a dollar a foot. That's your most economical option. I, you could go to one by tens, one by twelves. You could stack two one by eights on each other and make it, you know, 15 inches tall. You could do whatever you want. So that's your most economical option. Coming around to, these are called landscape ties. So they're kind of rounded. I'm just going to bring it in close if you haven't seen these before. They're kind of rounded on the edges and they're flat on top. It looks like something you'd use to build a log house with, right? Now this is an eight foot long piece of wood. And the dimension on top to bottom is three and a half inches. So if you see back here, I've got three of them. And the plan I have for the second la uh, garden bed is to put them three high like this. And I'll overlap them just like when you use bricks and mortar. They won't have all the same edges. They'll be staggered. Three high like this gives you 10 and a half inches. So this will be a taller bed than that one. You could go too high, which would only be seven inches, but I think uh, that isn't gonna be deep enough. To put something like that together, I'm gonna use a much bigger screw, so I'll have the drill and I'll use like a three and a half to four inch screw and go in on the sides, not straight down. And so that'll be a really strong rectangular box. If you wanna go three high with landscape ties, the price I paid for this ended up being about $3 for every foot around. So a 34 foot box comes in at around a hundred bucks, something like that. Now, the third option I'm gonna make a bed out of is these guys, these landscape blocks. Dimensions of these are eight inches tall, eight inches deep and 16 inches, okay? So they're eight by eight by 16. And the re beautiful thing about these is that they're not solid. Solid stuff would be weighing 80 pounds or so. This is about 40. So the backside that's gonna have soil against it is smooth. The ends are smooth, so you can put them end to end to end. I'm just gonna do one block high but the front is gorgeous. See, it's got makeup on it. It's like a dressed face. So these are called a split faced eight by eight by 16. They're not light. They probably weigh 15, 20 kilos, like 35, 40 pounds. And the other really cool thing is that they come with lids that are the same dimension. These actually cut with a special concrete blade in your skill saw, so you can actually cut them, do 45s on corners or whatever. But I think we're just gonna do a nice square rectangle. So they fit right like that. So with a lid on top of that, remember we're just gonna go one high, with the lid and the block, it's about nine and a half inches. So this will be nine and a half inch sides. Uh, the landscape ties will be about 10 and a half inch sides. 
and this will be about eight inch sides. Oh, and I didn't mention the price. On these, it's gonna cost you probably about five bucks per foot. So if you wanna do a 34 foot perimeter, five bucks a foot, you're gonna be coming in close to $200. And it's heavy. So, but it's beautiful. These look really nice. And then if you wanna move your garden bed anytime, you just pick up your blocks and you move them somewhere else. Um, so maybe if you're looking for a front yard spot and you're wanting to be decorative and not anger the neighbors that you've gone all farmy, though I think that's a good thing, you might want to go with something like this. So there's your three options, $1 a foot, $3 a foot, $5 a foot, and you can go out and get those materials as you wish that you can make your rectangles. And as I said, we're going to make three rectangular beds, one out of each, and then we're going to start filling them with the right mediums do the whole perimeter so it's weed and pest proof. And we'll take another step forward towards garden game plan and backyard abundance. It's gonna get good, guys. Let's get into it. <laughs>